There's three that bear witness in heaven, right? You got the Father, the Word, which is, you know, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. There's three that bear witness here. It's the blood, it's the water, and the Spirit. You see, we want the baptism, we want to see power and demonstration. And then we have had a lot of many great men of God. Smith Wigglesworth was just as powerful one-on-one -on -one as he was one on a 10,000. Just like Jesus. I mean, that's the, that's the only pretty much him was the guy I, 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 I went after as far as a model outside of just the word and following Jesus and learning the Gospels. So I learned what Dr. Yonggi Cho did and I did it. I learned how Larry Lee in the beginning was able to raise up prayer army and then in the one horse town bring more people that the town actually had through it. This is, this is different principles, different things, what they did. So I applied a lot of those principles 25 years ago. And, I, and I've seen a lot of things happen. I've been a part of three movies, three revivals. All right, but now it's time. I finally seen was right before my face the whole time. Because you, me, everybody who's got the, the spirit of God as far as the power and demonstration with Pentecostal, we want the demonstration. We want the power. And we've seen over the years how others have did it. But I'm asking you this. Forget about how anybody else did what they did with their ministry. Pattern ourselves the book of Acts. Book of Acts, Peter said, come and be baptized for remission of sin after the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. And 3,000 people got baptized in water, calling on the name of Jesus. And they came up and they got baptized in speaking evidence of tongues. What is the power? Jesus said, you shall receive power. Not many days hence, Acts 1, 8. And what happened? They got the power and they thought they were drunk. <laughs> but Peter said, we ain't drunk like you suppose. Hey man, it's only third hour. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, we're baptized in the Holy Ghost. This is that what Joel prophesied in the last days before our spirit on all flesh. The spirit ain't stopped. Azusa Street, some ministers got in position and got in line with the will and the word. And the baptism of the Holy Ghost cranked right back up, but it was always there. And you know why it changed the world? My God, it's still going. I got it because of Zuzu Street. But what happened, Zuzu Street ain't going on right now. Huh. Chuck Smith didn't want to be like the Pentecostal church in his dominant night. He didn't want to bring people in and then all around that have people praising God in spirit. Because he felt that when he brought a sinner in, that it you know, affected that person coming. And he said, well, you know, I want to create a denomination where woo, we'll put God in the box in the back room. But the water baptism, he did. And that started the Jesus movement. That guy Frisbee was a little psycho, a little weird, you know that, right? However, who's perfect? I'm, tell, I'm teaching you something here. Eyes up here, listen to me. Listen to me. Peter preached to Cornelius, Acts 10. What happened? Cornelius and the band of Italians got baptized in the Holy Ghost and power. The evidence is speaking in tongues. The power is the Holy Ghost coming upon us. And the demonstration is the speaking of tongue, the evidence of speaking in unknown tongues, where the nine gifts of the Spirit of God is present in a believer's life now, and they receive the power. The, the power what? The, to be a witness means willing to die for our faith. But also now the gift of, of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, how, how to uh, be a businessman or how, how to teach our children. But we need the gift of knowledge, wisdom, even in our ministries. Hmm. That's right. That's the power of demonstration. That's what we should be majoring on. we waving our hands and blowing on people and the holy laughter and all. That's not the focus. The focus. Have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit since you believe? Book of Acts, Ephesians. If you believe it, say, well, we only know about John's baptism. So Paul prayed for them. They got baptized in the Holy Ghost and power. And look at what happened in Ephesians. The church blew up. The region was changed. Hmm. That's the power and demonstration Paul's talking about. <laughs> However, we're looking for all these other things. Listen, man, if all these other things were to be sustained, they would have been sustained. They haven't been sustained. The Greatest Ten Ministries, the A.A. Allens, the Great Shambox, all great men have gotten all sincere, and I've done it for 25 years sincere. 
I'm sorry. This is right there in my face the whole time. Baptism in the water, baptism in the Holy Ghost. Before the water, after the water, you have to speak in the tongue. However God sovereignly wants to move. But that's our focus and that's where we should bring the people. Because when they got the best of the Holy Ghost in power, <laughs> they ain't gonna be the blind trying to follow us. It's gonna be those that can see. Those that can see for themselves. Have the power to overcome sin. Have the power to, to be able to lay our lives down, take up our cross daily and follow after Jesus, or follow the Jesus in us as leaders as we take the people out in the highways and byways and compel them to come in that the house may be filled. God loves them. God loves you. In the method in which people get saved, they're gonna go out and save others. And then they go out and save others. They go out and save, it's perpetual. It's a movement. Revivals come and go. But right now, tonight, God started a movement. A movement. Call it awakening. Call it whatever you wanna call it. But this is just the kingdom of God. It's done by following the old path, the old way. Because the old way still works. The blood is still the same power. The gospel is still the same message. <laughs> the message ain't changing. <laughs> it's time to get back. Get back to the basics and get back to the first things first. And we do first things first. Okay, so what? I belong on somebody to go down to the Holy Ghost. If I felt led to do that, I'd do that. Okay. So maybe they get slain in the spirit, but they don't. But this lady before, she got something removed. A growth removed instantly. But my focus wasn't on that happening. My focus was on her oh, getting baptized in the water and the Holy Ghost and power. And once that happened, man, God freed her. Other people got freed emotionally. Hmm. Other people just received the power of the Holy Ghost to overcome temptation, overcome the things that have been hindering them. Jesus was anointed of God. Jesus of Nazareth, the man, was anointed with God with power and the Holy Ghost. Acts 10, 38, he went about doing good healing all those who are oppressed of the devil. The word oppressed means dominated. That's right. We're here to bring Jesus to the people. Preach the gospel. And the gospel is the power of salvation. It gives God the opportunity to manifest His glory and His power, to free them, to heal them, deliver them. But our focus is to preach the gospel and say, repent, be baptized, and want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Because that's the promise. Jesus died sit at the right hand of the Father, and the day of Pentecost, <laughs> He sent the promise of the Holy Ghost. That's the power and demonstration, my friend. Thank you for your time. God bless. Jesus is away.